Okay, I've got my box uh, built at a point where I'm ready to test it. Uh, finally found a fan that uh, I hope will work. Um, you can kind of hear it. It's humming in the background. The laser's on. I've got a uh, test ready. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm using a uh, light box, which is the uh, default software for the uh, engraver. So let's go with uh, basswood. Those settings right there. Again, I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around with this. Um, so that's that. And you hit start. And it sends it to the working area. This is a test. Estimated time, two minutes. Um, and hit start. Wait, gotta put my safety glasses on first. I have very little eyesight. I'd like to keep what's left. Hit start. Do not disconnect the device. Of course, it also is Bluetooth, but I prefer the real deal wife uh, hard connection. Now I will admit I can still smell some of the uh, smoke of the uh, burning, but I don't think it's that bad. I think the fan's actually working, but we'll see here in a minute. Laser's working pretty well though. I got a feeling this is going to take a little longer than uh, two minutes. The most important thing is, of course, uh, always monitor your laser um, you don't want anything to catch fire and get out of hand so I'm watching it very carefully I can't smell the uh, yeah MDF burning that's what that is MDF by the way but I'm looking at it doesn't look like it's catching fire so that's a good sign I've got several files that um, I've downloaded. Um, one is a, a grid that I'm going to make for this. So if I have uh, to do several pieces at a, uh, one at a time, I can place it right in the same spot every time. And it'll cut exactly each one the same. That's one thing I need to do. Another thing is uh, buy a honeycomb vent. And what that is, is it's a, um, it looks like a metal shaped with honeycombs in it. So if you have to cut through something, you will rest it on that. And the laser would cut through the material into the honeycomb. So you're not ruining your um, the base of your uh, platform there. So I don't know if y'all can read that. 
but it says this is just and the rest is going to say a test so yeah this is definitely longer than two minutes according to this it says it has about a minute left but uh yeah i don't think so it's going to be a little longer than that I also bought a, um, a, uh, what's it called? An air assist, um, mod kit. Uh, I still have to hook that up. Um, maybe I'll get to do that this week or uh, next weekend. We'll see. Or next Sometime next week. Oh, and another file I have is a uh, power and speed graph. And uh, what it is, it's uh, uh, it runs through the gamut of the speed and power of the laser in a grid format. So, like, it has speed on one side, it has speed on one side, and uh, power on the other. So, uh, when you place a material underneath it and you run that speed test on it, that grid on it, you can then look at it and see which one you think is going to look best for whatever you're trying to do. And you'd have to play with it. You got a lot of, you got a lot of uh, leeway with this thing. You have to play with it to get it to the way you want it. I still have to set up my rotary. I haven't done that yet, but I plan to do that soon. I'll we'll probably do that um, next week as well. And it is done. That took about six and a half minutes. This is just a test. Now, hopefully, when I attach the uh, air assist on there, it'll uh, it'll eliminate all this you see here, which is because of the the airflow is blowing the uh, the laser in those directions. Ooh, yeah, it's smoking. I can smell it. Well, that's it, guys. Um, this is my box, my uh, X1, X2, X, uh, X2 D1, uh, 10 watt laser. Um, I'll be posting more videos here soon. All right, deuces.